Hi everyone, uh, Jono Page today and I'm starting with the, this painty paper scraps of some leftovers and mostly they are cleaning my brayer and smearing some leftover paint and cleaning, if you can see, cleaning a stencil. So I'm just going to start with this and I have this uh, one inch uh, circle punch that I want to take some circles off, out of a... Uh, all this uh, painted paper I've got. This is just a mat that I went with uh, acrylic paint and some just smeared acrylic paint with a makeup sponge. I believe it was in one of um, my videos about how to make ma painted papers. So uh, this that's one of them. So I'm just going to uh, punch some circles. I want to spread them on my background and we'll see what happens. So right now I'm just taking like five circles of each uh, painted paper and I do try to have, I'm looking and to, to have an interesting paint and not something solid on each circle. If I find an area that is just solid paint, I don't punch it there. I want some interest and texture. Let's see. And let's go. I'm not sure I will use this color, but I will punch several just to have some variation. I'm in a spring kind of mood, so that's what's going on with this color. This is just a dictionary page that I've cleaned my brayer on. don't know how much I will need I'm just starting and we'll see so I've got some glue stick and I'm going to start with one of the circles just putting some glue in the back and placing it now I want to stamp on top of it I've got a uh, two ink pads here this a uh, crushed olive distress ink and fossilized ember and I've picked this a flower this flower stamp that I just want to go and stamp on top just to have some kind of flower in the back let's hope it will turn nice and it won't look too much of a I don't know a 70s tapestry okay so I'm just putting down another one and I'm doing one by one so the when I'm stamping it won't clash with the other one although it really doesn't matter if they are overlapping but right now that's how I'm going to go about it and we'll see just a crazy idea I had and we'll see where it gets me so that's what I'm going to do, just spread some. I'm going to put this here, so some of it will be uh, out of the page, but I don't care. I think it looks more organic when you've got if stamping or whatever element you are using that goes outside of the page. Just my opinion. So, putting this one here and just here we go. So, I'm just alternating between the colors and the circles, and let's hope I will get something nice as a background, very light background. 
not usual for me mostly I cover everything with paint <laughs> let's hope it will be nice okay what other colors I've got here maybe let's do this one again out of the page I will trim the excess later and let's use the green one so I'm going to keep at it and just spread this kind of flowers around and then I'll come back I'm back and I am finished with this but I feel like I need more flowers so I'm just going to stamp the same flower all over and I've picked another a distress ink ink pad broken china and I'm just going to go and probably some of it will overlap but I'm going to again just spread it around don't care about being very a precise with the print of the stamp just spreading <laughs> some flowers let's see and and I'm going to get it off the acrylic block because it would probably won't let me print here so I'm just doing it like this and yeah just to the edges in several places and <laughs> I still feel like I need more flowers let's see I'm cleaning my uh, stamp just on some paper and I'm thinking what color I else to choose from maybe be brave and use some pink let's see I've got one lipstick I will try it first on some let's see the color yeah, I can work with it. It's not stamping here. Okay, here we go. That's better. And, 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 I don't know. <laughs> A little bit here. Taking it again off the acrylic block. Yeah. And I think this is it. Now I want to do some butterflies. And I've picked several. Uh, I've got six by six uh, pages with all kinds of these uh, flowers. And I also had some ugly papers like two... Uh, like this so I took some paper napkins I've got this one and another one and the only thing I've done is just glue them to these two uh, boring ugly ones so now I've got this four pages to play with and I'm just aligning them I want to uh, make a butterfly and for that I'm going to do some, a, a template so I can repeat the same one in, over the for the four pages and I'm taking a piece of paper and folding it like this and I'm just going to do the simplest 
butterfly that you ever saw like this taking some nail scissors it's easier to cut curvy things with nail scissors just go with the curve Okay, here we go, simplest butterfly ever. Let's see, I've got this paper that is not the whole six by six. I already cut some stuff out of it, so I'm going to flip it over just so I can see where I'm putting everything. And the only thing I'm going to do now is just trace my butterfly here and then I'm going to cut it out of the four pages okay so this marker needs to go to the garbage maybe another one let's do another one so I will have lots of butterflies to play with Okay, so now I only have to start cutting the butterflies. Like so, so I'll be back when I'm finished. I'm back, so I've got my butterflies and as you can see they just disappear into the background because they are on white the the pattern is on white background so what I've done is this I've taken the same template that I've done for this uh, butterflies and taken another boring 12 by 12 that I've uh, made some put some uh, acrylic paint on and just cut more butterflies only a little bit bigger uh, from this ones like one to two uh, millimeters bigger and I went around them with a black permanent marker so now I can put this one on top of this and it's framed it's more interesting and it's visible on my page so what I'm going to do now is just pair my butterflies like this and start gluing them to my page once I decide that this is the the layout that I want and I think so something like that so now I'm just going to glue them and I'm only going to glue a uh, here on the inside I, where the fold is I don't I want them to <laughs> be like like this free although once I will close the journal they will flatten out but right now I'm just going to put some glue in the middle and we'll see where it goes I thought about doing uh, the antennas not sure about it and let's see once again this butter is clogged okay so just a little bit of glue here and here I'm not trying to align them I'm just putting them like this
this is plain white glue nothing to it so I'm going to glue the other ones and when it's dry I'll come back okay everything is in place and now I just took a black gel roll a pen it doesn't have to be a gel roll pen you can use whatever you like even just a black pen and I'm doing the antennas and some kind of the body which is again not really necessary these are just whimsical butterflies and I just figured I will add this detail but otherwise it's really not that important so this is it that's my spring page that I really like so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.